It started on the English muffs. Uh, Posey is always... Uh, Posey, please! Okay, well, I'm trying to show you my ingredients here. Um... Welcome to a video. I have merch, you guys. Oh my god. Um, I have a little avocado hat, um, which is amazing. It has a little embroidered avocado on it. And then I have a white and black shirt, white or black, sorry, with a pocket and it's full of posies and so it has little posy faces all over it and then i have a shirt that pays homage to my avocado dress that everybody always asks about and it's a shirt with avocado pattern on it that we made and i'm so excited and you guys can get 20 percent off with this little code right here. And I can't believe this is real. I, so today I am going to be doing a Paul Hollywood Great British Bake Off recipe. I don't know if that sounded nice. My arm is getting tired. Can I like? I'm doing this because I recently had my friend who works for Netflix, Aaron, on my podcast, and we talked about how, you know, you can move up in the entertainment world as a woman um, and get awesome jobs at Netflix and BuzzFeed and um, E! and cool places like that, so you can also check that out. But So I'm doing a Great British Bake Off recipe, um, but it's a technical challenge. If you watch the show, I love the show, there's a section of each episode where they do a technical challenge, which is... Um, they do anything from breads to pastries um, and you see a lot of people get nervous you see a lot of British people drink a lot of tea um, it's riveting and calming at the same time I am going to be making what am I making? oh yeah <laughs> I am going to be making English muffs hand made English muffs I am nervous. I've never made bread. Paul Hollywood is a stickler with bread. PBS actually releases the recipes from Paul Hollywood, Mary Berry, or the newest judge. I forgot her name. I have a feeling it might not go well. It might not go as planned. It's time to go to the store to get some ingredients. Okay. Here we go. I've got an egg, some egg, butter, cornmeal, milk, flour, and uh, yeast. And then I'll put in a little bit of salt and sugar. Hopefully that's all. Pray to Paul Hollywood. Here we go. I'm already on the first step and I had to make caster sugar, which is getting your sugar and putting it in a food processor to make it just in between regular sugar and um, confectioner sugar. So I would definitely not be doing well in the time department right now. <laughs> mixing everything right now and you're probably like hey Candace why don't you have a mixer I'll tell you why I thought I did oh my god Posey's drinking oh <sighs> cooking with a cat cooking with a cat is out of control I thought I had a mixer but I forgot that my roommate took it when we parted ways I mean we're not like in a fight it's just oh I'm gonna literally literally I can't with you right now it should make a soft dough. I mean, I'm assuming this is a soft dough. It's squishy. Does that, does that make it soft? I don't think Paul would be very happy with me right now. Maybe I should add, no, Candace, don't add any more milk. Oh, I've got a need for 10 minutes. This is crazy. Why am I doing this to myself? I've, I don't even know how to knead shit.
yo, this is tiring. I'm like five minutes in and I'm like, how do the grannies on Great British Bake Off do this? Like, damn, damn, Bose. Behold, my dough ball. My ball of dough. So I'm putting it in here, letting it prove for one hour until it doubles in size. I hope that that was a good accent. Like, honestly, shout out to all those grannies out there who do this on a regular basis. Like, this is, this is no joke. I probably burned some major calories, so. <laughs> I should also probably clean up. <laughs> Jack's gonna kill me. Okay, it's been about an hour. Um, and <laughs> what I have to do here is get a surface to roll out the dough and we're gonna cut out the dough into circles. However, I don't have the cutter that they're asking about, so I'm gonna use the circumference of this one cup <laughs> thing. Then we put our eight little guys onto some dusted surfaces. Then we prove for another 30 minutes. I hope I'm doing this right guys because this is a lot of stuff. Okay, this looks like it doubled in size a little bit. Yeesh. It looked like it doubled a little. Oh God, I hope it did. Come on dude, slide out for me bro. Yes, there we go. Step one, complete. Okay, I'm not too, too confident, but I got them cut out, so that counts. So we're gonna prove these for another 30 minutes. Now back to my, oh. Do you hear that? So rude. Just flipped my first batch. They're kind of unevenly heating, but I kind of see how it's becoming an English muffin. They're just not very tall. Oh my God. I think I got the most, stop making fun of me. I think I got the most perfect English muff. <gasps> no soggy bottom. Pretty top, oh my god. She's beautiful. I think they're okay. I think they're okay, they're just special. Are they winners? Like the show? Well, they looked like they were winning. This boy's like fat as hell, and then this guy's skinny. Do you have a uh, English muffin to compare it to, so I said? No, but I have a picture. Wow. I iced this, but I have not opened it yet. Let's see. Is it gonna be holy? Uh, okay. We got some. It's still very dense. But it's cooked all the way through, so I get points for that. I'm starting to see the bubbles here. <sighs> Jack. This was hard. Taste test. Mmm. Great crunch. Moist. I think that's because it's dense. I'm not mad at the flavor. I just made them way too dense. But they're pretty good. Okay, I know the lighting's kind of weird, but like, Let's just talk about what just happened. I think I did okay for my first time. They came out looking very um, homemade, I will say. But I think I honestly, honestly, I think I did a good job for the first time ever doing something like this. The thing that kind of tripped me up was that... Um, I never baked anything. I cooked them on a stove. Do I think Paul Hollywood would be proud of me? 
maybe for trying and then he'd look at me with his beautiful blue eyes and then be like I hate you the major mistake I made which I knew going into it was that I didn't have the circular cutter thing I just I just don't have that so I used a pizza cutter <laughs> But I think for the time, I think for what I used, it worked pretty well. Do I think I would have made it to the next round? Maybe. Maybe if one of the like old ladies or like random hipster dudes messed up. If I were ranked like one to eight, I'd probably be seven or eight. <laughs> hey, you know what? I tried though. And I think I want to try to keep attempting to make bread. Um, I never realized what a science it is and how hard it is and how much patience it takes all as well <laughs> but uh, oh another funny thing is that they're supposed to take maybe like in a, mm, two hours I think and it took me a couple hours just because I had to keep looking back at the directions and trying to figure out what was going on and trying to know if I was gonna light the house on fire but I think I did a good job um, if you guys like this video, let me know. If you guys want to see more, tell me. Please check out my merch. Um, proceeds go to Posey, the cat. And um, yeah, hope you guys had a great day. And I love you guys. All right, bye.